Hi students! Welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about finding the equation of a line given two points. So we have here, for example, find the equation of the line given two points, right in slope-intercept form and in standard form. So we have here the formula y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. So what we're going to do is just to substitute the value of y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 1 to the formula. So in number 1, we have the given 2 points, 2, negative 3, and 5, 5. So here, our x sub 1 is this one. And then this is our y sub 1. This is our x sub 2. And this is our y sub 2. So now, we will just substitute those given to the formula. So we have y minus our y sub 1 is negative 3. Equals y sub 2 is 5. Minus our y sub 1 is again negative 3 over our x sub 2 is 5 minus our x sub 1 is 2 okay times uh, x minus our x sub 1 is 2. Now we have y since this is both negative so negative times negative is positive equals 5 again Pos uh, negative times negative is positive so we have positive 3 here over 5 minus 2 is 3 so we have x minus 2 next perform the operation so y plus 3 equals 5 plus 3 is 8 over 3 so we have x minus 2 next let's use the distributive property so we have y plus 3 equals 8 over 3 times x is we have 8 over 3x and then 8 over 3 times negative 2 is negative 16 over 3 okay so let's have the continuation of our solution here so y plus 3 equals 8 over 3x minus 16 over 3 Okay, so now we need to transpose this positive 3 to the right-hand side. So we will get the slope-intercept form. And then we will leave the y in our left-hand side. So what we're going to do is just to add the opposite sign of our 3. So that is negative 3 and also negative 3 here. So 3 plus negative 3 is 0. So we have now y equals... Uh, 8 over 3x minus 16 over 3 minus 3. Now, simplify. So, we have y equals 8 over 3x minus. So, their LCD is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. This is minus, so write minus here. 3 divided by 1, so that is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Next, y equals 8 over 3x minus 16 minus 9 is 7 over 3. So now, this is our slope intercept form but in our instruction aside from write this into slope intercept form we need to write this also in standard form okay so to write this in standard form again we have the y equals 8 over 3x minus 7 over 3 so now we will leave the constant at the right hand side but this 8 over 3x we will transpose this to our left hand side but to do that so we need to uh, add both sides by the 
the opposite sign of our x. So, the opposite sign of positive 8 over 3x is negative 8 over 3x. Okay? So, 8, negative 8 over 3x. Alright? Now, y plus negative 8 over 3x is negative 8 over 3x plus y equals 8 over 3x plus negative 8 over 3x is 0. We have here now negative 7 over 3. So, to avoid the fraction in our x and the negative sign, so what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by negative 3. So, negative 3 times negative 8 is 24, positive 24. So, 24 divided by 3 is 8. So, now we have 8x plus, okay, so this one and then this. So, negative 3 times y. So, we have negative 3y. Again, so negative 3 times y. So, we have negative 3y equals negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now, this is our standard form. Alright. So, next we have the um, number 2. Um, we have the given 2 points, negative 2, 0, and then 0, 6. So, now our x sub 1 is this one. This is our y sub 1. This is our x sub 2, and then our y sub 2. So, just substitute the given to the formula. So, we have y minus our y sub 1 is 0 equals our y sub 2 is 6 minus y sub 1 0 over our x sub 2 is 0 minus x sub 1 is negative 2 okay times x minus x sub 1 is negative 2 okay so we have zero, uh, y minus 0 is y equals 6 minus 0 is 6 okay 0 Minus negative 2 is positive 2, okay? Times x, since this is both negative, so negative times negative is positive. So, we have positive 2 or plus 2. Next, let's simplify. So, we have y equals 6 divided by 2 is 3, okay? Times x plus 2. Now, let's have the distributive property so, we have y equals x times 3, 3x. And then 3 times positive 2 is positive 6. So, this is now our slope-intercept form. Because this is in the form of, in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now, again, in our instruction, we need to write this also in standard form. So, again, we have y equals 3x plus 6, okay? So, again, we will leave um, our constant to our right-hand side, but the x, we will transpose this to the left-hand side. So, what we're going to do is just to add the uh, opposite the opposite sign of our x, which is negative 3x. So, also negative 3x in our left-hand side. So, negative 3x plus y is negative 3x plus y equals 3x plus negative 3 is 0. Then, we have here 6. Now, again, to avoid the negative sign in our x, so what we're going to do is to multiply it by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative 3x is positive 3x. Negative 1 times positive y. So, we have negative y equals negative 1 times 6 
we have negative 6. So now, this is our standard form. Okay? In the form of AX plus BY equals C. So that's it. That's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!